Recently, there has been a lot of talk about renaming your default branch from master to main or maybe something different for your Git repositories. Um, in this video, I'm not going to talk about why you should do that, but um, rather I'm going to show you how to do it. There are a few gotchas that, um, you know, it's not just renaming and done. You should think about a couple of things, uh, dead links, maybe your branch protection policy, your CI CD. Make sure to watch the entire video to get all of it. Um, let's not waste any more time. Let's go see it. So the method we are going to follow for this is described also in this blog post by Scott Hensman. Um, he goes quickly over the reason why you should want to rename the master branch probably. And then he quickly goes to how you can do that. Um, so he's also doing everything in the terminal. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, but you know, if you need any written reference, then um, find this link in the episode notes below. Um, I've got a sample repository here, which is very, very simple, uh, but it has a few things that you uh, should think about whenever you're going to rename your base branch. Um, so I'm going to go over that in a second. Uh, but right now, let's focus on the renaming first. So I'm going to pop open a terminal and I'm going to say git branch minus m master to main. So this moves the master to main. There we go. And then we're just going to git push that upstream. So git push uh, upstream origin main. And there we go. Now we are pushing this main branch um, to uh, the remote one and we have a main branch there as well. So uh, that's how easy it is to do your current master to main. Uh, make sure you've committed all of your changes that you uh, might have open, of course, right now. Uh, but right now we have a main branch on our Git repository. Remember, this doesn't just work for GitHub, but also for any other Git repository that you might have. Now, if you go back to GitHub, then there's a few things that you want to probably uh, change. For instance, you might have uh, links in your readme or other markdown files, or maybe in your wiki uh, that you need to change because here I'm linking to the git ignore file and that git ignore file will um, point it to the master branch. Uh, because that's just the way how this linking works usually on GitHub uh, and maybe other Git providers. So what you want to do is uh, change that to main as well. Uh, luckily, we already have a pull request open for that. Uh, but also in these pull requests, we uh, need to think about that we suddenly want to merge this into uh, not master, but into main. So you can easily do that by just going uh, to the upper right corner, click edit on the PR and change that into uh, the main branch. So there we go, change base. We know what we're doing, we're pros. And suddenly now this is going to be merged into our main branch. So we can just merge this, no problem. And now suddenly our uh, readme file will point to our main branch. One other thing, if you're using the releases part of GitHub, which you can find here on the right, um, and you have some draft releases, you might want to go into the releases section. And here I have a draft release ready. And uh, whenever we go look there, you can see that um, this target is pointing to master as well. So you want to change this to main two um, so that it's up to date and ready to go whenever you're ready to launch this release. So we're just going to save this draft right now. Um, and that's another thing that you might want to be aware of. Now, the last thing uh, which is also important is uh, in the settings where you have the branch policies and also where you can set your default branch. So here you set the default branch here at the top and you should change this to your main, uh, then click update. And you know um, here you have an extra link that you can follow to see what happens whenever you do this. Uh, so this can affect pull requests and clones. So uh, make sure that everything is in order, that you notified all the clones and maybe the uh, contributors that might have forks. Uh, and whenever you have everything uh, in place and have notified everyone, then you can say, okay, I understand, do it. And it will change the default branch to main. 
Now below that, you might have the branch protection rules. So whenever you have this, this base branch that is now our main branch, uh, you probably have some rules set up so that people cannot just push anything on there. So we're going to go to edit and you want to change this branch name pattern uh, from master to main uh, so that it will now apply these policies to your main branch instead of the master branch. So uh, the policies down here below are also very interesting, uh, maybe something for other videos. But um, right now, you just want to make sure that uh, you change this branch name here at the top and just go all the way down and save the changes here as well. Now, of course, you might also have CI pipelines or CD pipelines that hook into your main branch as well. So be sure to uh, make the changes there, uh, not just anything inside of your Git repository. There might be other places where you are referencing that master branch name as well. So make sure to um, also change these. Now, if someone has a local clone, like I mentioned, if you are a open source project and you have contributors, then they have local clones, or maybe you have yourself. Um, then let's go back to the Scott Hanselman blog post. If we scroll down a little bit, um, he also provides you with a way to update those local clones. So it's going to check out the master branch. Um, you can uh, set that to uh, the main so we can do the move again. We fetch all the things, we unset the upstream, then we set the upstream and we make a symbolic uh, reference from um, our head to the current main. And now your local clone is updated. Again, make sure before you do this that you have committed all the changes that you need in there. Um, but now your local clone is updated as well. Of course, if you are sure that there is no local stuff going on, you could also just uh, remove the clone from your local device and uh, clone it again from the remote source. Um, now, as of Git 2.28, you can also do this. So we can set the um, new repositories that are being created. We can set the new name uh, by default. So whenever we init a new uh, Git repository, it will automatically use that main branch. So if I now take this new setting and I go into a new terminal window again, I can set the setting with git config min min global and set the default branch to main. So here we go. Now I create a new directory, which is my git repo, uh, go into oops, git repo. Um, I create a new repository here, um, add this folder and uh, commit it with, of course, initial commit message and probably allow empty because nothing is in here, uh, but at least it will do something. And you can already see that um, it, it created this main branch uh, at the, the output that we're seeing here. And if we verify that here in this git branch list, and you can see it created it with this main branch and um, no more master branch from, from here on out. Now, GitHub has also released some plans for how to uh, proceed with this themselves. So they are taking some steps uh, later this year in uh, 2020 um, to uh, undertake steps that will allow you to configure this a little bit more for yourself, but also uh, they are going to change the default name from master to main. Uh, they are specifying here what has already changed, what can you do. Um, as of October 1st, there are going to be some changes and later this year, there's going to be some more. So uh, again, this link is in the um, episode notes. So make sure to check that out so you know what to expect. Um, actually, if you go to github.com and you're going to create a new repository yourself, um, you can actually already change the default um, branch right now. So if I'm going to make a git repo here and uh, I add a readme, it will tell you here at the bottom, like, hey, this will set the master as the default branch. You might want to change that. And you can do that by going into the settings right here. And that will go to the settings for your users. And you can change the default branch here right now. Uh, it even suggests main for you directly. So you can set update and all your new repositories on GitHub will now use the main uh, as their default branch. Of course, uh, if you don't like main, main is a popular choice because, you know, master and main starts with MA. So that uh, comes in handy for the auto suggest and that kind of stuff. But maybe you want to go with stable or trunk or some other name. Uh, you're, uh, of course, absolutely free to do that. Um, so choose whatever makes sense to you. Uh, but main seems to be the popular choice.
Now, the last thing you want to do to really make sure that that master branch is gone, you want to delete that branch. So I'm going to go into the terminal once again. If you're on GitHub, you can do it from the uh, GitHub web UI, of course, as well. You just go to this repository right here, uh, click on the branches right here, and then uh, you just say master branch, delete it, and it will be gone. So if you want to do this from the terminal, because, you know, maybe you're not on GitHub or maybe you just like terminals, uh, we can do that as well. So we are going to go to the terminal, make sure that you are in the right folder, in the right local Git repository. Uh, because I did the move action earlier, uh, my local Git repository does not have the master branch anymore, so that's deleted. So if we inspect this with git branch list, then it's gone. Um, so I just want to delete it uh, remotely. So I'm just going to say git push origin. Origin is my alias, my reference to uh, the remote repository. And I'm going to say delete uh, master. And this should delete the master branch on the remote repository. Um, it's deleted. It says it here in the output. So whenever I refresh this, uh, the master branch is gone. We just have the main one, which is the default one, as we can see here. It has the policies in place. It's protected. Um, so everything is good in the world and you can just start using your main branch as the default one. We've now done all the work on the Git repository, um, but like I've mentioned already, be sure to also check out your CI CD pipeline that might live somewhere differently, your YAML files, um, because they might still have some reference to master as well that you need to change to whatever name you picked uh, for your new default branch. Um, but this is the most things that you should think about. Um, there might be some other things that will fall over, but if you've deleted your previous default branch, they will surface um, at some point when things will break. Just testing in production. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And I will see you for the next episode.